Now, I think that they could do a little bit better than that as far as the name of their podcast. But that's just me, you know. Don't get me to judging. But it's called Too (laughs) Too Personal. Too Personal. Do I got the link pinned in the chat for anybody that want to call in? I just want to make sure that we all on the same page. But it's called Too Personal. And they're basically giving their opinion of what's happening when it comes to men. All right? Uh, I'll be bringing people up throughout the show in order to be able to express their thoughts. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. And we're going to get to it. (laughs) (laughs) I would first say amazing. And you saw the Bob Marley movie, I think. Yes, I saw the Bob Marley movie. I loved it. It, I love Bob Marley. I, my man. I do. But I don't expect my man to take care of me. I don't know. Back that up. Ready for this? I know. It is, but it's going to be the best. Like, I just, we are so ready for this and especially ready to dive in. So it feels good. I'm happy we've made it here. I will say that they look good. Both of them actually is absolutely stunning and beautiful. So it does make it easier for you to be able to react to some of this content because the women actually look halfway decent, but we're going to rock out. Me too. It was, it was a lot of work. We will get into all of our thank yous and Give all of you love for supporting us and all of that later in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's start with what's on your mind. Oh, girl, deep breath. I am over the conversations about $500 dates, $30 lunches, the Cheesecake Factory, all of the discourse that centers money is like the most defining part of a relationship. Because here is my take on this. I want to be as clear as I possibly can. I do expect to be taken care of by my man. I do. But I don't expect my man to take care of me. And those are not the same thing. And I want to explain. I have been in situations, as I know that you have, with very rich men where you have your rent paid or they're always giving you money. Just everything is handled. You never touch your wallet. I've been there. That's taking care of me. And I can say that it is a shallow connection. That is not being taken care of. Being taken care of is fulfilling my needs mentally, physically, spiritually. And yes, sometimes financially is a piece of it because I also want to be clear about this. Money is a factor in relationships. It is not that money is not important. It's that there are so many things that are more important that people are not focusing on enough. And I just don't think money can be the measuring stick anymore. And we keep judging men and women, I guess, based on the amount of money that they give us. But we really have to judge them based on their willingness to improve our lives and our happiness. And you can decide what like improvement and happiness looks like to you. But I have been in relationships relationships where I paid for nothing and relationships where I happily paid for everything. And I know with certainty that that feeling of like being loved and valued and appreciated does not come from money. That feeling safe and secure does not have a dollar amount on it. And I just want to like release us from the shackles of if he is not giving you money, then he ain't shit and he's not getting my time because it's crazy and it just can't be how we talk about relationships. All right. Uh, they're wrong, they're wrong, and they're wrong. Let me tell you something, bro. You can sit here and have that conversation all that you want. You can sit here and say, oh, my God, money doesn't mean anything. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you go and talk to a broke man? How come women only date up and they do not date down ever? Ever. Listen, let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you why this does not make sense and why it's important for men to understand that you cannot listen to women when you take in relationship advice. I actually heard somebody or a woman specifically say, actually, it was them. I think that they said it on this podcast. I don't know if we're going to get to it because I don't have the patience to listen to women talking about a bunch of nonsense, but I do like to break down their soliloquies in order for you to really understand exactly what's going on. Let me tell you what the difference is. Guys with money, well, first of all, a simp is always going to be simp regardless of whether he got money or not. 
a, a mark is all or or corny or a lame it's always going to be corny and a lame regardless of whether they got money or not so that's not even a, a, a consideration the other side of this this though is is that most of the time a lot of the guys that have money to take care of everything they still not going to be for you so they don't have the time the capacity or they just simply are not interested and so money is a vice. Money is just a tool for a lot of these guys. And so what she's basically saying is, oh, my God, um, you know, it's not everything because I want to be mentally prevailed. I want him to be taking care of me. I want him to listen, man, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm just going to be real with you. Ain't nobody got time for that. The money is a tool. It's one of the reasons or it's one of the ways in which we can continue to remove you from or remove the expectation of us having to be around you all the time because we don't have the capacity to be sitting there playing games with you and going back and forth talking about money talking about resources that's not it big dog that's just not the move that's not how we playing the game and so listen for 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 women i'm gonna be honest with you you can't have both you're gonna have to pick a struggle either you want the money or you want the relationship. Which one you want? Let me say it again. Either you want the money or you want the relationship. You cannot have both. You can't have a guy that is sitting around up under you every day catering to your every need. Because that's a, that's a hobo. We call those hobosexuals. Or, or you can cry in the bins. It's up to you. Pick a struggle. You know they're going to say, girl, you can have both. What did I just say? Listen, honest to God, honest to God, on my father's grave, I have not seen this. This is the, literally, I'm experiencing this for the first time. I don't even feel right without my Rolex on. Get my Rolly, Rolly, Rolly. I have, I am, I am seeing this for the first time just like you guys. This I'm reviewing this. I seen a clip on um, Instagram. I reacted to the clip, which was only like a minute and 20 seconds long. And the, the minute, literally, right after I just broke that down and said you got to pick one or the other, Joy Taylor, because the other one is Taylor Rooks, the, the, the black, black girl, the black girl with the dark hair. And then that's Taylor Rooks. And then Joy Taylor is the one with the corn roll things. She literally just said exactly what I said right after that. What's up, Mika? You can have it all. He can take care of you and you can be taken care of. Nope. They're going to say that. And I think that that is in theory true. But my, my point is not that you can't have both. It's that we are valuing one of them. You maybe can be taken care of and also like feel like, okay, I am getting all of the money in the world that I need. But why are we only talking about the money aspect? Like, I feel like what in up, these conversations, o? no one is just- One of the greatest content creators on the face of this earth. What up, oh? Oh, you see, I'm in a studio right now. I'm in the studio right now. I'm in the don't do coke in the bathroom studios and we getting it in. Yeah, yo. Make sure y'all go and kick it with my boy. Oh, he is a he is a beast out here in these streets, yo. For real, for real. Asking like, well, do you like him? <laughs> Cyber Park says, Anton, do you make your wife choose? You want to ask her? We, I could, I could, I could call her. He says, Anton, do you make your wife choose? That's a simple. Uh, that's a simple solution. What up, Larry Dose? Sorry, Mr. Call. Leave me a message. I'll tell her to call me back. Hold on. Yes. 
Larry Dahl says, loyal subscriber, been rocking with your content for a minute now, but it's something I'm begging that you should talk about. The topic is Unborn Child Act. All right, send it to me. Send it to me. What's up, Larry? What's the word, man? What's up, man? Chilling, chilling. What's up? I love What's your up? content, man. Thank I you, man. I love your content. You hear me? Yeah, I can hear you good. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's up? What's your question? I think it's uh, the Unborn Child Care Act. I think you need to do a deep dive in that for future, for future topics. Okay, I'll look into it. For sure. Yeah, because they took the uh, Roe v. Wade, and mm -hmm. I think they trying to bring that. It's happening in Kentucky. I, I read a little bit about it. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it. I got to do some research to understand exactly what it is. Yeah, but that what I had to tell you. That was a topic I wanted to tell you to look into. And um, it, probably, it probably, probably could be some dope content for you to you know, do your little mojo on for the future. All right, bet. I'll check it out. Thank you, my friend. All right. All right, so let me get back to this. Somebody asked me, do I make her choose? Absolutely. Well, it's not that I'm making her choose. She just got to understand that that's what come with my lifestyle. It's not that I make my wife choose. It's just that that's what comes with the lifestyle. So, shout out to uh, Early Bird. Like, <laughs> well, I think you like being around him. Does he make you laugh? I, like, no, it's about, well, he didn't give me this amount of money or the date that he took me on wasn't what I wanted. Like, these are not real I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the Steve Stout conversation after this. Thinking about when it comes For those of y'all that's like feeling a certain type of way about the Dame Steve Stout thing, I'm gonna do that because I wanted to give y'all the opportunity to call in and that's why I'm gonna address it again. So I'm gonna cue that up and we'll do the Steve Stout thing right after this. And stable relationship. Well, that I think is really the issue that I have with the conversation outside of the fact that like, what the fuck are you eating that you need more than $30 for lunch? But <laughs> that aside, if you're only looking for men to provide you monetary support or connection, okay, if, if that's what you're looking for, and I, and I say only because clearly you're leading with this. So you can say you also want to be loved and you also want romance and you also want depth, but you're not leading with any of these non-superficial things. Exactly. So we are going to take what you say at face value. You're leading with you want money. So then where's the transaction? This is a transactional relationship. Money at its base is is a transactional item. So he gives money and you give him what? And if the money is the only thing, being that it is such a superficial and ever-flowing, ever-changing thing, you can have money, you cannot have money, so on and so forth, what is the transaction on your end? So to me, so, I'm just like, if you're coming to the table saying, I just want money, and that's the most important thing to you, I, I mean, I think you should expect to be treated as such. Yeah, because that's I, I, I certainly, pe pe people that I only have transactional, monetary transactional relationships with in my life, I treat as a monetary transaction. You give me money, I give you the thing that you're, you're Pussy. giving, you're paying me money for. Like, Box. that's what it is. There is no next layer because money is, is that, is that creepy of a substance. It has so much attached to it. So why do women act like money don't mean nothing? But then at the same time, they sit there and they, the first thing that they say, whenever you ask them a question about what type of man that they want, they say that they want a high value man. You know what that is? That's money. That's provision and protection. You know, all of this shit is cap. And I, honestly, th this is why we call women chameleons, because we know what the truth is. Listen, speak to the truth. Speak to the truth. All, one, all women want a man with resources. That's just the way that it is. That's the way that goes. It's always been like that since the beginning of time. This is not new. This is not something that we need to figure out. We don't need to do a deep dive and a breakdown on. This is this is just the real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not something that we need to figure out. All women want a man with money. Because money represents more than just money. You know what I'm saying? Money also represents masculinity and it represents success. It represents hard work. It represents uh, the ability to be able to take care of your family. And so, you know, 
why they keep sitting there and talking about the problem isn't that women don't want money. We know this. We know that there's a monetary value for the overwhelming majority of us, unless you a chick that like hobos. And I don't. And and that's the thing. It's nothing wrong with a woman that wants to be with a man that want to be provided that that want provision and protection. The thing that we're not asking ourselves the question is, is what then does that come with, and what are you willing to provide, or how are you going to operate with a man that's that's in that position to be able to give you that level of of comfort, insight, availability, and so on and so forth. And so when we start to break this thing down, it's not that money that we don't understand what it represents. It's really more or less about the fact that we're not being honest what, what, what this is. And more importantly, we're not having a conversation as to whether or not you deserve to or what a woman, what the requirement is for a woman that then me measures up to a man that has resources. That's really what we had, what we need to have a conversation about. It's like, if I want genuine connection, which is what I date for, then I'm not even bringing up money. Yes. Chris Okuda, shut the fuck up, bitch. This nigga subscribe just to come in here and have a conversation with me. See, this is after hours. This is after hours, my nigga. Now, I'm not going to mute you, but let me just help you to understand something, man. I don't give a fuck about what you think, nigga. I'm out here saving the world. One video, one woman, one insight, one information, one piece of information, one opportunity at a time. Think I give a fuck about what you talking about, nigga? Talking in all caps, nigga? Suck my dick. Money matters. Yes, you have to make money. Yes, you have to support yourself. Yes, you should be able to buy me lunch. Nigga, I got a whole show called The Millionaire Morning Show where I teach niggas about politics, international business relations. I break down exactly how you're supposed to do things in Stock Club. Rivian is up 15% because they just dropped a new video and all of my people in Stock Club is up here running up the bag. Then this bitch ass nigga is only because your algorithm is fucked up. You punk ass motherfucker going to sit here and talk to me? Nigga, who you talking to? Nigga, you subscribe just to say that shit. You dumb ass. Get the fuck up out of here. I should get your ass up out of here, but I said I wasn't going. I wasn't going. Don't time them out, y'all. Let them rock. Let them rock. But dog, this ain't the Millionaire Morning Show, nigga. The link to cam up is right there. It's pinned to the top of the chat. I welcome all smoke. But that's not the only reason why I'm talking to you. It's one of like 50 reasons why. Totally. And that's what I'm saying. The issue is that of the 50 reasons, money is being made to be reason number one. And that is very damaging because I will say this. If we are making money reason number one for men, what are they making reason number one for us? Like, Peace. and so the more we engage in these sort of like conversations online, it actually is hurting us too. It doesn't seem like it, but it is all about this give and this take. And if because you're taking what you're giving, and that is not the right way that we should think about it, but that is the reality of it. And it's why for every single person, we have to make love and relationships and the discourse around love relationships and dating about individuals. So that is what is on my mind. What is on your mind, my sweet joy? It's, it's sort of in the same vein. I'm tired of talking about male friendships. I saw this video resurface again of this woman talking about how she was interested in this man until she found out that he made an elaborate dinner for his female friend. And that is something that she just does not want in, his, in her life. And to be clear, I respect anyone's boundaries for relationships. Like what works for you is likely not what works for me. And if you have a hard line that he will not have any female friends and I will not have any male friends, and that's what works for you, love that for you. But this sweeping statement of like, it is so outrageous that he would cook for his female friend, make an elaborate dinner for his female friend. I want to tell everyone this. I have amazing male friendships. Some One of my oldest friends in life is a man. We've known each other since we were literally children. He's not going anywhere. One of my best friends is- Red flag, red flag, red flag on the play. What's up, Rita? Hey, uh, you busy? I'm on a live stream. Uh, nope. I was talking to Leslie. Leslie's still up? Mm, she's waiting for me. What, uh, do, we, do you think that I make you choose? Um, as far as 
success, me working versus you having access to me? Um, I don't think that you make me choose, but it's definitely a choice that has to be made. I can't have both. You said you can't have both? No. Why you don't think you can have both? Um, because it's not possible. Like, if you sitting at home all day, then no money is being made. All right, thanks. That's all I wanted. Okay, love you, bye. I'm not sitting up under no chick, bro. You can forget it. You gotta choose. Either you want, either you want me to be a hobo sexual, which I'm never gonna be, or I'm out in the streets, man. I get home when I get home. I play it the way I'm gonna play it, and I do what I'm gonna go. What I'm gonna do? But I'm not sitting up and I'm not sitting around waiting on no waiting on no chick, hand and foot, trying to figure out where it is. Bro, what do I look like? I look like a simp to you? I'm not sitting around waiting on no chick. Now, she's off because she's sitting there talking about I got a, a male friend since the beginning of time. So it's only one or two ways that that plays out, fellas. Either this male friend and her got some other type of relationship where he just always got a tie on her or that nigga's gay or he in the friend zone. Shout out to my dog, AM. I ain't going to remain in the building, says... Cap, they've been materialistic and transactional for decades. Now it's about character, please. That's what, see, me and Angry Man in the Sand. This is all chameleon work. This is all chameleon work, y'all. He's a man, he is a chef. He cooks for me all the time. He's a chef. <laughs> this nigga is your friend and he cooking for you? What? He's your friend and he's cooking for you? Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Shout out to JRCPA2011 says, Ashley Dalton had a 24-year-old on her platform who only dates millionaires and billionaires and sounded delusional about it. All right, I'm going to look that up. We're going to tackle that tonight. I'm going to get to the Steve Stout Dame Dash conversation after that. Shout out to everybody that support the platform. I appreciate you. Shout out to my dog, AM. If anybody wants to be able to have a conversation or you got a, comp or you got a question or you disagree, the link is pinned to the top of the chat for you to get that smoke. Okay, I like food. He's a chef. It's how he expresses affection to everyone. He cooks for everyone. He doesn't just cook for me. He cooks yeah. for the women he's interested in. He cooks yeah. for his male friends. He has big barbecues. He's a wonderful cook, and he likes to cook for people. And I like to eat food, and I like to spend time with my friend. I pour him Hennessy. He cooks the food. We have a great, <laughs> <laughs> we have a great uh, a, a night catching up, and then he goes to do whatever he's going to do, and so do I. And nothing in my life. Dog, you can forget it. You're going to have to put your head in my lap and lay your head on my pillow and just relax. <laughs> lay your head on my I did the remix, so lay your head on my lap. And just relax, relax. That's when you ask her. She'd be like, boy, you're so crazy. I'd be like, listen, man, just kiss it. Just kiss the tip. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, just listen, just kiss the tip. Or let me just put the tip in. <laughs> 